In this video, I will be taking you on a trip back in professional sports history. New England professional sports history to be more specific as I will dive into former professional sports teams that have called the New England area of the United States home. Current teams that play here in New England won't be covered as I will only be discussing teams that no longer play for a city here in New England. Strap yourself in as history class is now in session. The Providence Steamrollers were an independent team that was found in 1916 and played in said independent league until 1924. The Providence Steamrollers were a professional American football team based in Providence, Rhode Island, and they played in the National Football League from 1925 to 1931. Providence was the first New England team to win an NFL championship. The Steamrollers won the league's championship in 1928, and to this date, this is the latest NFL championship win by a defunct team. Most of their home games were played in a 10,000-seat stadium that was built for bicycle races called the Cycle Dome. Despite their 1928 championship, the team experienced troubles in 1929. On January 4, 1929, Sonnenberg defeated Stranger Lewis in two straight falls to capture the World Heavyweight Championship in professional wrestling. This caused Sonnenberg to stay out of football as he could make better money defending his title. Meanwhile, Odin quit pro football to take a job with an insurance company in Boston, and Smith decided to return to his native Missouri and coach football. Konzelman also didn't fully recover from a knee injury sustained in 1928. Rehnquist missed the first half of the season due of an illness and Wildcat Wilson became complacent and turned into an ordinary back. Losing their star players from the previous season was a huge reason why the Steamrollers ultimately failed. The 1929 Steamrollers struggled to 4-6-2 record, resulting in a 7th place league finish. This caused the fans who attended each game during the championship season to stay home. The team posted a 6-4-1 record in 1930 and a 4-4-3 four, four, record in 1931. The lack of interest, coupled with the Great Depression in 1930, caused Dooley, Copen, and Laudati to suspend operations after the 1931 season. The three owners then gave up and turned the franchise back over to the NFL in 1933. I really hope you enjoyed this history lesson on a former New England sports team that you may or may not have known about. Truthfully, as I make these videos about these former New England teams, I'm learning a lot myself. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and please consider subscribing if you're new to the channel or haven't considered subscribing yet. Please comment your thoughts down below as I would love to hear them. But until the next team, I will see you in the next one. But as always, I love you and I will see ya.